Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seven Days to Die on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. It's Alpha 21. Uh, we've got a rattlesnake down below. I can hear it rattling. It's been here for most of the night. And I want it to stop rattling. Where'd it go? Oh. There you are. Dang it. Give me my bolt back. There we go. All right. Problem solved. He was kind of stuck in the wall, it looked like, a little bit right there. A little bit. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Uh-huh. It's the day before the horde. Day 48. Um, nothing really... Well, overnight. What did I do overnight? I, um... I worked on, of course, getting this kind of shored up. We talked about this in the last episode. That's just going to kind of sit there for now. Oh, I started working on the trap. We got to change the blocks out in some of those locations. So, you know, that's going on. Um, I also have everything cooking. Everything is cooking. I'm not quite even sure where I left off with this. Uh, 151? Sure, why not? Let's do it. I'm going to make some asphalt for the runway. I thought that would be kind of a cool thing to do. Uh, yes, please. Give me all of that. That's going to be... Oh, that's almost enough time. I'm going to get some buckshot so I can make some shotgun shells. And it looks like I've got... Maybe I can get some forged iron out of this. I get 350. Now I'm going to do that right there with that and get the forged iron out of there. Okay, so over here what I'm doing is I'm swapping this out to full blocks. Uh, oh. Hold on. I swap these out to full blocks. Let me open those back up so she does not see the trap. Hopefully, as a way to get in. Although it is fun to punch her off the edge and watch her fall down. I've got to say. <laughs> Are you coming? Sometimes she moves so slow. Oh, she just got herself punched. did. She got herself punched. That'll kill her before she gets out of the ground, I think. Let's go see. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I love experimenting with this thing. We've got to do some remodeling on this each time we do. I think she's going to come up by that hole. Unless that killed her. I didn't see a score come up. Points. A dart trap could get her, but I didn't... Again, I don't see any... Uh, I don't see a kill marker there. Maybe that killed her. Huh. I didn't see. Well, I'm kind of bored with watching. Because if I'm wrong, then it's boring. Okay. Anyways, so what I'm doing is I'm turning these into full blocks. On this side, you can see I've done that already. They're full blocks, and I got the wedge down here kind of leaning in towards the main structure. Uh, it, it doesn't give us that extra block. I've got one block here. I'm even thinking about taking these wedges off and taking it straight down all the way down to the bottom and just making it a solid cube. All it has to do is be efficient for me, and the least amount of work I've got to do, at least the least amount of shooting I have to do, the better. So we're going to give that a whirl in the next horde night. Um, so what I'm trying to do is figure out where I need to replace certain walls and this wall back here definitely needs to be replaced and I think I already got the roof. Yeah the roof is already taken care of the ceiling there. Um, so what I have to do is I need to get uh, need some blocks out so I can come around here and see what I'm doing and I'm gonna work on this today. Now the trader uh, they change tomorrow so tomorrow we're going to want to go out and see what we can come up with for the traders. Um, I think maybe I'd be better off knocking these out from the inside. <clears throat> Let's do that. Let's take this one off. Apparently the cops aim at these types of tiles. These, these tiles that I'm using as you know thin walls. They will fire at these. So we don't want these as our structure. Because firing into here... The green ooze, I think, can get through the wall, and then it sits on, it gets in here, because that stuff seems to spread now. It's got an interesting um, mechanic to it. I know it can make you sick when you walk through it, 
So we're just take this one off of here too. So we're doing a little bit of remodel work today. And we're getting rid of also, I hate it, It's but we'll, we'll do something to make it look nice. We're also going to get rid of um, these windows. They, they serve no purpose other than to puke at us. So I'm just gonna take them out. Okay. Oh, looks like she came out of that hole. She yelled. Shotty back here is getting some action. <laughs> oh, Joe. Ouch. Big old radiated guy there. Oh, we got some whites even. Wow, look at this. She really calls him in now, doesn't she? Okay, Shotty on the left is doing some work. Wow, he's still going. These guys here are tough when they're radiated. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Nice little bag from Lucy. Uh, there's another Lucy coming. Uh, I guess we could still have some down the hole, but I don't think we have to worry about them. We'll go get that bag. Oh, Lucy. There we go. And let's make sure we've got our search ones on. There we go. Um, Turn it off. That's what's fun, I think, about the game, is when you get those kinds of hordes. Those are fun. We'll have to see if the dart trap is working down there or not. Tuna fish. They sure do love to give me tuna fish. They do. It's amazing. Uh, okay, so back to work. We got to get back to work. I don't want to go anywhere today. I want to make sure I get this thing upgraded to where I want it to be upgraded. I want to see if we can eliminate the amount of times the cops are puking at us. Because I think if they're if they're attracted by those blocks there, we've got some of those we need to swap out. The thing is we're adding extra weight to the building. That's what makes me think about dragging it all the way down to the ground here uh, on the edges just to, just to do it. Because right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and we're going to do just kind of a bump out right here to... Um, enclose this area so it can take more abuse uh, than it currently can. I had wondered why I was taking damage on my Jenny every now and again and um, I think it's because I had those blocks here so that's why I think it's important to swap it out and I think what I'm gonna do here is also do the wedge. Here it is. Ramp corner. Ramp corner is the one we were looking for. Uh-huh. Just like that. Awesome. Ramp corner. Uh, we got a block up there that needs to go away. Uh, that's good, though. We've, we got that figured out. I'm, I'm excited. That was nice. Uh, let's go ahead and bring that together. So we do that, now we've got that room sealed up where the Jenny is. I feel a lot better about the generator being there and that uh, relay there. They really send the power to everything in the horde trap, so that room has to be solid. Uh, up here, I guess what I could do is take that off and put more blocks here, but I, what I want to do right now is I want to get the basic necessities fixed up on it and see if it works even. Okay, to see if it even, like, I've got these guys right here. Is this going to work, or are they going to keep puking at these walls? Or will they not puke at those walls at all because I'm not even in those walls? I don't know. I want them to stop puking on this building right here that we're in. I went around and fixed up most of this stuff. As far as I know, it's pretty well fixed up. I mean, this always has a bit of a ping-ding to it, but most of the time, everything seems to be all right. And the day after the horde, I usually go around and make sure I get just about everything. Uh, and then we suffer a little bit of damage here and there uh, during, you know, like the witch screams and stuff. Every now and again, that happens. 
All right, so let's go. I'm putting these blocks all over the place here. Let's go up here. Let's put these guys right here. That way I can move around and I've got some scaffolding. Let's take this off right now. I expect another witch to come. I moved the uh, chest. I put one chest down here. We're going to go ahead and get that stuff kind of restocked so we don't have to think about it uh, tomorrow night. Oh, shape. Sorry. Uh, here and here. And advanced. Oh. There we go. I think that's right. Right? Yep, looks right to me. Okay, and then... We do this here. I need to bust this guy off of here. And we'll get those windows out of there and fill that in too. Bingo! Oh, jeez, damage, man. Beautiful. This should be enough to hold this all up, I think. Uh, this should actually be a different block altogether. Let's go ahead and get these sealed up, though. I get them all? I did on that side? Yep. We do that right there. And then these guys should be the, uh, yeah, this shape over here. The ramp shape. Advance it. There we go. Just like so. Boom. All right. Perfect. All right. Now we've got a safe place to put our chests and a safe place. Yeah. See, this is going to be much better because now when they puke, it's the and they spit. It's not going to have any problem. It, it it's this is going to be a lot tougher for that. Now over here. We do need to deal with these guys, but we can do this from the inside. Let's just get rid of these as well. The next upgrade. Okay, welcome back. I got rid of the windows, so that should deal with that situation. Now, what I'm going to be wondering on this next horde is, are they going to see these guys here? This is a solid block here, so it should be pretty safe here and really we don't take much damage over here at all it's on this back wall we do so i think what i want to do is i want to upgrade these to steel all the way around the perimeter of this entrance so that they are just a little more durable and are going to last a little bit longer uh we were making some steel over here yeah let's take those with us let's go do that next Woo! jump all right nice um, I am going to, yeah, we're going to upgrade that stuff too. Let's do you and you and you and you. Uh, you. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do this guy here too. And this guy. Just so the ones right through the middle here are upgraded nicely. Maybe I'll do this guy here too. This one. This one. And that one. In terms of the blade trap, I'm guessing I should probably upgrade that guy right there. And I should upgrade that guy there. And that one there. Because we're going to have, um, you know, more damage coming that way towards those blocks. Matter of fact, I should probably do that one too. And that one. <clears throat> Maybe that's what I do there. It's getting expensive to repair this stuff. Uh, and then... I'm thinking about doing these... I'm thinking about leaving these, the panels right here. This panel to protect the... Uh, they don't really go after this at all. Um, to go after the uh, electrical trap. The electric fence. They seem very focused on just me. I really probably should upgrade these guys in front too. So that they... I just don't want them thinking that what they're going to do first thing is go over this way and just start tearing into that stuff over there. 
Maybe I do this one here for now. Oh, look, we've got a horde going by. Hey, folks. Folks, 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 folks. No, no, no. Look, we got one way the heck out there. Oh, you know our a tactical assault rifle is back in the garage. You guys feel like having a little bit of electrical fun? Nobody can nobody can withstand the power of the lightning rod. No bag, but we've got a charge. We got a charge on the stick. Um well there was a horde, but it didn't mean much to us. Okay, so we're looking a little better here. Oh boy, you know what I see? I see like we should have steel here. Oh, we, I just did it. I just did it. I, what I'm going to be curious about is, are they going to shoot at these? Because I don't know. And we don't have any on here. They don't really go... They banged on this, but there's really no purpose for them to go in here. It's not going to... It's not going to make our building collapse by them going through here. So they don't seem to care too much. It might not be a bad idea to take these out and put in like maybe a wedge so when they come along here they just kind of push along and they don't they don't get like this in here, you know? They don't come crashing in like that. Maybe that would be a better idea to do that. Um, the other thing is is the shotgun is here now. So um, I feel like it got some activity right there uh, just from the horde coming through I was tempted to turn it and point it at this direction here but I think I'm gonna forego it and see how it does on horde night just by pointing it down this way how's the floor look oh let's see we got a little bit of damage here and there you guys were telling me the shotgun will cause damage so we'll refrain from using the uh, the slugs or anything in that one right there. It is just witch protection, but it's nice. It's great to have. Although I don't think... Well, it did work last time we had it, right? It did work. Of course it worked. Okay, I think... Look at there. It has morphed once again. Oh, I need this guy right here. Hey, look at there got like a little turret little castle look to it back there huh indeed it does uh, we'll leave this stuff here and see if we still get spit at if we do then to be honest with you they could be spitting because these guys aren't full blocks I don't know we'll see if they're still puking all over the place on us there then we know we still have a problem but I like my trap I, I barely had to fire a single round this last time uh, again, we're on vanilla settings. We don't have the hordes turned up or anything like that. We're going vanilla settings just so we get a feel for the basic basics of the game, and I love it. Um, I probably have enough metal to do something like this right here. Get this taken care of. We could bust these off, turn this all into steel. Let's go see what we've got for our steel, uh, our steel situation. Nope. I want to see a horde walking down my road. That's what I want to see. <laughs> I want to see them come in on my road. This is a very kind, kind man. Uh, I think we took all the steel out of here, huh? Yeah, we did. Uh, you needed a little more time. We can handle that. There we go. Anything in here cooking up? Nope. Uh, we got some concrete, some cement mix going on in here. Uh, aha! Look at there. Mm hmm. I've been meaning to grab that all this time. The tactical assault rifle. I finally made it. I kept talking about it and talking about it. And now here we have it. And we're going to go bump, bump, and a bump. And we're going to take you. And we're going to modify you. And we're going to go, yep, uh huh. 
and definitely complete that. Okay, we're going to take our AK-47, which has been near and dear to us this entire series. We're going to put you right there because you have been amazing. And then we're going to come back in here, and I'm going to grab the silencer. I love the silencer on here. It's really fun to use. Although, in a major fight situation, I would take it off and uh, just go noisy. Let's put that back in there. Oh, look at there. You know, the other thing I could do is I could put a scope on it. But I got to tell you, the iron sights on this gun are really fun. I really like them. Do we have any points to put in machine gunner? Let's see. Uh, machine gunner, 3 out of 5. What do I need here? I need 42 level 7. Ugh. Machine gunner, there we go. Uh, I gotta wait till I get a point again. I'm thinking about taking that learned elixir and coming in here and resetting my stuff. I'm thinking about it. Maybe not just yet because we haven't quite maxed out yet. But uh, we, we've got one, so I'm thinking about that. Anyways, this is cool. The other thing that would be really awesome on here is a scope. Any one of these scopes would be cool. I don't like the eight times scope. The two time one is just, there's a four times scope. Let's see what that looks like on here. Let's go ahead and, yep, let's go you, modify, take the silencer off, put the scope on, complete. That looks pretty cool. Uh, that is pretty nice. I'm pretty fast with the zoom. It goes in pretty quick. I think I've got, I'm pretty accurate too from the hip with this. Maybe I'll leave the scope on it for a little bit. There we go. We'll put the silencer back. Although the silencer is just that nice little plink, 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 plink. It just does such a beautiful job of uh, killing the zombies. Uh, okay. Next on my agenda. We were talking about adding lights in the kill chamber down to the dart traps so that we could see them better as they fall down into the trap. So let's go in here real quick again. We are going to need the wiring tool for that. And we are going to need, I don't need any relays. I don't need a generator. I just need a couple of lights. Okay, a couple of lights. That's easy to come up with. We need these and we need these right here. So, and I think the best light we could go with is just the very simple basic light bulb oh which by the way with that said i need to grab some of these basic light bulb there we go let's do um let's do eight shotgun shells we are short on i'm going to say that for sure i've got gunpowder and i did make a bunch of buckshot as well right i did make a bunch of buckshot i believe it was in here yes i did i made a thousand buckshot we could use some paper to make the shotgun shells now there's other shotgun shells we could make but i'm thinking about keeping with just the regular old ones um let's let's go uh shotgun there's a shotgun AP slug ammo. That's going to require bullet tips and scrap polymers. Oh, that's really... Oh, that's it, huh? Oh, that's cheaper than having to go out and get paper. Although, now you need the polymers even more, huh? Interesting now. This is... Um, hmm. Here's breaching slugs. Now, those look pretty darn dangerous. Well, those made out of uh that's a shotgun messiah volume two but we could make these these slugs i'm guessing these probably cause a lot of damage uh damage falls off rapidly beyond the effective range armor piercing shotgun ammo that fires a single projectile hmm you know what i'm willing to uh dedicate a little bit of my polymer to try something like that out what was it bullet tips and then polymer and then gunpowder right uh, let's put our good glasses on this would have gone a lot faster had I not uh, had my other glasses on those will crack crank out real quick awesome 
Uh, let's go ahead and throw one more cobble in there. Oh, one more cobble in there. There we go. And let's go ahead and get rid of this again. Make sure it's empty first. There we go. There we go. That's much better. That's much better. I think, you know what, the next thing I'll do in steel is... God, I should really get the... The whole thing should be done in steel, really. Nothing should really bother back here anymore, I hope. We've got the doors, we've got these trap doors here, so maybe it'll still be an issue. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out if we have to make more changes, then we make more changes. And that's part of the fun, if you don't agree, huh? Right? Yeah, of course. Uh, drop that there, and I got some stone on me, which I don't need. I've got my headlamp on, which I really don't need, because we've got lights in the base now, and it's really cool. I love having the lights. I do. They're awesome. Uh, and I've got some ammo here, and I don't need that, and I don't need that. Thank you very much, and off you go, and boom. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is we want to get the lights installed downstairs so we can see better. Uh, let's grab that. We do not need a machete in our inventory. We need a regular block. We will have to be careful for witches because they are going to want to come up and cause some problems with us. That's what they like to do. They like to show up. Be nasty. Uh, as we come out of here, we'll check this and make sure this is in good working order, this ladder. Um, I've kind of changed my mind about putting... Um, another another dart trap down here. My concern is it's gonna shoot stuff. Well, there's, we're, we're missing a ladder, so That's not good um, Copy shape Why are we missing a ladder here? I feel like this is in the way and I, I feel like that this needs to be this needs to come back one uh, in order for me to do that, though, I need... I feel like the dart trap is causing that damage. Is the dart trap causing the damage? See, the dart trap might be breaking that ladder right over there. That's what I'm wondering right now. If that ladder gets broken, they're stuck down here. They pile up and eventually they start funneling up, but they are, they are kind of stuck down here. So I'm wondering if this is not such a good idea. I didn't think the the dart trap caused damage to that stuff, but it looks like it does. Uh, I guess we could find out, huh? Is there darts in here? There's 312 of them in there. Um, well, the only way I'm going to get down here is... Well, let's go ahead and turn this into ladders all the way up. Uh, what's going to be my best route up and out of here? Probably here. That's right, you can go every other one, can't you? I forget about that. God, I haven't thought about that in forever and a day. Oh, 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 that hurt really bad. Ooh. Couldn't get myself back on that ladder. Probably because it was, uh, you know, every other one. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I need a Band-Aid. Oh, I'm lucky I didn't die. I think those boots probably saved my life. Ow, that really hurt. It sounded like it hurt really bad. <laughs> there was a lot of panic going on right there. Oh, my God. Okay, what I want to do more than anything else is move this. Move it back one. I want it to come back one block here. Okay, so I want this back in my grubby little mitts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, and then I want you to come back down here. I'm going to put you this way, but you're not going to go up against that wall this time. I don't want you all the way back there. I want you a block away. I'm going to put you there instead. Then I'm going to put you to here. And then you're actually running off of this here, right? Boom. And then you're coming down to here. Yeah, you are. That's what's exactly happening. Okay, sweet. Okay, so. <sighs> All right. That should take care of this ladder problem, I think. We're going to put these ladders back and see what happens. 
I think this is going to be helpful in them being able to step off of that and grab the ladder and go up. I think this might be causing them some issues, uh, especially, you know, trying to get the ladder. Or I don't want to go through the, the hassle of pulling all this apart to see if, the, if this dart trap is causing damage to blocks. Uh, you guys let me know. I do need to take this down, which makes me extremely nervous because my leg is broken. <laughs> And it's, you know, it's, it's just broken. Um, I suppose if I jumped and hopped up, I'd be okay, right? And I could take all this back. Okay, let's do... Yeah, let's do you right there. Cool. I am expecting some of these to get broken over time. If not all of them. So, there we go. That should give us plenty of light down here to see. Uh, you know what we could do? Let's do one more. I'm thinking about that. I, I really wanted a... There's a siren. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of you. We're going to put you right up here. And I think... Can I feed off of you and go to you? There we go. Perfect. I'm not sure how many times you could feed off of this. Let's put a light up real quick. I'm curious about this. Put a light right there. Can I feed a third time off of this over to this? I can. It can take well. It can take at least three wires to it, so that's a good thing. All right. Um, let me grab the ammo out of here. I'm gonna turn it on. I want to come down here and see if it sounds like it's working properly. Oh, you know what? This light probably won't work unless somebody's standing on the trigger. The siren should go off as well once we step on that trigger plate. There it is. Okay, so that should go off and it should light up down here. So that light's not going to do as much good, really, huh? It really won't. Uh, but it, you can hear it's 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 triggering, so that's good. Well, there we go. Nice. How crazy it would be about a hundred zombies started coming down this hole right here after me? Chihuahua, that would be crazy. I think what I'd do is go back down there real fast and try to get those darts back into that trap, so I could shoot them as they came down. Ooh, exciting. Boop. All right, that is going to work right there for me. Mm-hmm. 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 Part of me wants to just go out a little bit, you know? It's been, I've been here all day. I feel like the trap is ready to go. Uh, we made repairs. We made upgrades. We fixed part of the trap. Added a cool siren. Got some lights going. The shotguns are loaded. The dart trap's loaded. The pressure plate's moved back to trigger plate. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to go into town and, and poke around and see if there's anything of interest to do. Just, uh, just to get out and about today a little bit. Stretch my legs. Because tomorrow we're taking the tour of the traders on day 49 before the horde. What do we got here? This is like a junkyard. This might be a good place to come and find some, uh, you know, magazines that we could use, right? Let's, uh, let's get this on. Uh, let's get our, well, I, I, of course I brought the uh, nail gun because that's important to do. Uh, we should drink a little something and eat a little something. There we go. And we could drop that into the bike because we don't need that in our inventory. And we don't need that in our inventory right now either. Shotgun. Let's make sure we've got this on the right ammo. Okay, and you're oh, that's right. I loaded this with a with a flaming arrow, with a fire, with a explosive arrow. I know. 
Um, Bill Gears Place. Never been here before. Got a graveyard though. Careful, big fella. There we go. Let's just slow that. Let's slow that roll down a little bit, buddy. There we go. It's so fun. I love this electric stick. Oh. Whew. He was coming fast, huh? Zap. Zap. Isn't that fun to just... Oh. They're in here. Oh, this is unlocked. Okay, let's let's open that. Oh, oh, there could be a dog in here, huh? Kaboom! Oh, Stanley's got no legs anymore. And you're still alive? That didn't do nothing to you. It just blew off Stanley's legs. That's not fair. It's not nice at all. Turn my headlamp on so you guys can see better here. Remind myself to do that. We'll search the untouched bus. Let's see what's here. Have we done one of these places yet? I'm thinking maybe we have. Oh, pair of lucky looters. What do you know about that? Oh, uh, okay, I guess here. Oh, buzzard. It's got to be a buzzard, right? What was that? What 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 caused me damage? Was it the sharpness of this stuff here? Huh, I'm confused by that. I I feel like maybe I took damage from those that spikes right there. Maybe what I should do then is this metal. Looks like it's wood. Do a little something like that. Let's go ahead and we've got a we've got a thing here, so I got to be careful this direction. <laughs> nice work, turret. Nice work. Wow, just a mutilation. Oh, copper. Whew. You got him, turret. Good job. You got them all. He took no hostages, man. He killed everybody, including that cop that was just puking on him. I mean, that's that's dedication right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's nice. You just pick a spot and go into it and just. Do whatever you want to do. Well, that's the beauty of this game. Some days you just go do whatever it is you want to do. You don't have to have any rhyme or reason for it. Oh, this kitchen's a busy one. Uh, I'll take that and drop that. I'll drop that. We'll just do a little searching out of our own, of, a little, of this little place here. Oh, did I, I, there we go. Grab the bone, radio. Grab the bone. Uh, use. Uh, no. 
Okay, I think that's good enough here. Out of curiosity, will I get some brass out of this fixture right here? Hmm. I did. 27 brass out of that. That's not that's not too shabby. Uh, these guys, I can't remember. Do they give forged iron? No. What about you up here? It's a strange place to be working on an engine, isn't it? Right here in this room. I think we may have gotten everybody already, too. Uh, we got a bedroom over here. There was a secret panel in the kitchen, right? And I, I mentioned it, and then I didn't do anything about it. <laughs> okay. 36 rocks. Yay! Get some rocks. All right, good deal. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. Let's ratchet them down. Get a few springs back. We've used a few lately. We've got plenty of springs, but you know, it's always nice to have more. A little bit of polymer as well. Uh, I think we cleared everybody out of here. Chem station. I think we have been in this POI before. Yeah, everybody came out. Okay. Well, it was still fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, let's turn that off. It's awful bright. Uh, some nails, and let's get you opened up first. Passing gas boxes always seem to have a guaranteed tire in them. Have you guys noticed that? Let me know. How are we doing here on space? There's another vehicle book. That's awesome. Uh, let's scrap that. I'm going to go ahead and eat those two soups and just get them out of here. <clears throat> there we go. Nice. Gives us a little more space, and this is always locked. Let's go ahead and bust through this. I think I left all the lock picks out on the bike. Uh, iron gloves, there we go. Eh, nothing fantastic. A couple of nice mods, though. Those are nice, pretty nice mods, I gotta say. Check the garbage first, and we'll drop that. Take that. Oh, another vehicle book. Use. Oh, we've got to be so close. I forget every single episode. Every day I forget how much close I am to getting the gyro put into place. I can't wait to take a world ride on the gyro. I just can't wait to do it. I'm going to scrap that. Oh, look at that. Just thought, you know what? Maybe? Maybe there's a safe there? Yeah, we'll do a world tour on the gyro once we get it. Uh, oh, look at that. Something we don't need anymore, but is desperately wanted at the very beginning of the game. Okay, I think that takes care of that, right? It looks like it did. That's a cool little place. Uh, we were up on the roof. I doubt there's anything up on that roof for us, right? We were up on that roof. So what did we come out of it with? Anything we could sell? Uh, we won't sell that, we won't sell that. No, we're not going to sell that, or that, or that. Uh, we will sell that. I'm going to take a look to see if we need those. we we'll keep that stuff, of course, because it's just goodness. Uh, I could sell these uh, steel, oh, those are some steel armor parts. I'll keep those. I'm looking into that now, about getting some steel armor and see what we can make out of it. Or at least waiting until I can, and then making our own, which could be kind of fun. Uh, do that, and then let's go ahead and modify that. Let's take that die off of there and complete that. We will scrap that. I could sell you, and I could sell you, and I could sell you. A little bit of gunpowder there. Oh, I've got three of those right there. Look at that. i got three uh, lock picks. Okay, and then back in here, what do I have to sell? I can sell that. Oh, well, that's not very exciting, is it? <laughs> that was that was short-lived. We're just going to put this stuff up there so I don't see it. All right, so, well, we could sell that right there. We picked up a little bit of loot that we could sell. The rest of the stuff we'll take home and use. But we do. 
Alright, that was Gears. I like Gears. It's been a cool looking place. I've always wanted to go to it. I'm pretty sure I've probably been there before, but, you know, I don't, again, remember POIs very well. I do need to find my way back home, though, or at least to uh, Bob to sell this stuff off. Oh, Bob! A few things to sell you, my friend. Hi. Hello. Please allow me to sell those, and those, and those, and that, and that right there, my friend. 451 dukes. And you are trained, yep, you're changing tomorrow. So tomorrow, we are going to do our run on the four traders that we have close to us, and um, make the rounds. It's, blood, you, thank you, Bob. You have a good night. We'll see you later. Hordes tomorrow night. Get ready. Uh, we will... Do the tour. The tour. Where we go down this way. We hit Jen. We hit Trader Jen. Then we run over here and we're going to hit Trader Wrecked. Or we could drive up. We hit we hit Trader Bob. I'm sorry. We hit Trader Bob. Then we drive down. We hit Trader Wrecked. And then we uh, come back down here. We hit Trader Bob at the end of the day. We go home and we get ready to do our, uh, you know, Horde Night. <laughs> the Horde Night. But again, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. We've made a few small adjustments to the base. This particular Horde Night, I'm curious to see just how much uh, cop spit uh, hits our building that we're standing in. I'm hoping that that's going to be reduced. I'm also hoping that we're not going to have as much banging on the side of the building. If we do, then we'll take some course of actions to eliminate or at least reduce the amount of zombies doing something like that to the side of the building. I still think a couple of turrets set up at either corners would help cover either side of the building and then we could actually, you know, mow them down with the SMG turrets, which we don't have. That's what I'm waiting on uh, to keep them off that main cube that we're standing in there. Oh, it's just so nice, man. It's so nice to have a base. Beautiful. All right. I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Oh, do I have to get all the way to 100? All the way to 100. I need eight more vehicle books. Eight more. Maybe we can find them tomorrow.